Third generation sequencing technologies include Helicose True Single Molecule Sequencing and the Pacific Biosciences Single Molecule Real-Time Technology. The Helicose Single Molecule Sequencer actually allows for sequencing without PCR amplification of the DNA, enabling shorter preparation times while decreasing the chances of error. First, the DNA is broken into fragments of 100 to 200 nucleotides each. A poly-A tail is attached to the three prime end of each fragment, in addition to a fluorescently labeled nucleotide. These fragments are hybridized onto the surface of a flow cell, which contains immobilized oligo T nucleotides complementary to the poly-A primer. DNA polymerase and fluorescently labeled nucleotides are introduced into the flow cell, where the nucleotides are added one at a time complementary to the template fragment. Similar to Illumina's method of sequencing, a laser is used to illuminate the surface of the flow cell and capture the fluorescent signal emitted. However, Helicose records the addition of each nucleotide on a single DNA fragment, as opposed to Illumina's cluster-based sequencing system. This allows for billions of unique fragments to be independently sequenced at the same time. Unfortunately, the Helicose sequencer does rely on the heavy use of reagents, which constitutes an ongoing expense. However, it has been shown to have nearly 100% accuracy because this sequencer does not involve PCR amplification. Pacific Biosciences has developed single molecule real time DNA sequencing technology, also known as SMRT. First, fluorescence is attached to nucleotides creating phospholinked nucleotides with a different color for each of the four nitrogenous bases. However, unlike the previous methods, the fluorescent label is attached to the terminal phosphate of the nucleotide instead of the base. This allows DNA polymerase to cleave the fluorescent label off during base addition, and this emits a light that can be captured in a nanophotonic chamber. The SMRT sequencer uses zero-mode waveguides, which are essentially small pores that are surrounded by metal film and silicon dioxide that enables the detection of single molecules while DNA polymerase replicates the chain inside the well. As a result, this method allows for simpler and faster genome assembly than comparative technologies while allowing for longer read lengths.